Hey, what's going on guys and gals of YouTube? Um, so, I am going to bring you guys the video I mentioned a couple of, uh, well, probably a few days ago now about uh, the next generation of CPUs, chipsets, and, uh, you know, fabrication technology, uh, other things being included in the next generation of CPUs and platforms we can expect to see from AMD and from Intel. Uh, before I get started with that video, though, um, I just want to let you guys know I have to do a computer build for work. It's a video editing build. And I was going to go ahead and start that today, but I just realized I don't have the video card yet. So I'm going to hold off uh, on doing this build, but that's a video you guys can look forward to in the future. I got a really cool uh, Fantex Eclipse P400 case here, which I think looks awesome. You know, nothing on the front. Very, um, you know, subtle looking, all the I.O. on the top, couple of USB 3.0 uh, connectors, power button, mic uh, microphone, and, uh, you know, line, line out for audio. And uh, a really cool look, and it's going to look sweet with the uh, R7-1700 uh, RGB cooler in it with this cool uh, glass or acrylic side panel. And uh, also have another X370 motherboard. It is the Gigabyte uh, gaming K3 and this board apparently does have an unlocked or uh, it has a uh, external clock generator to be able to be able to change the base clock um, which is very important for overclocking you know your memory uh, and can definitely help you with overclocks on your CPU as well so looking forward to uh, uh, to putting this stuff together testing out this board uh, got a C Sonic 650 very reliable brand uh, 80 plus gold power supply and uh, the old uh, primary uh, storage on this device going to be the 960 evo uh, quarter quarter terabyte got a one terabyte just a kind of a, a old off the shelf part uh, West, western digital blue uh, drive i'm going to use for archiving it's going to be a video video editing machine so i'm going to archive the video on uh, on that internally also went ahead and i know this ram kicks bucks i have it in my own system this is of course the flare x 16 gigabyte kit 2x um you know 8 gigabyte dims and i have this running at 3467 16 casts on the honey badger my system and i'm going to try and get this running at similar speeds on this gigabit you know gaming k3 x370 board and we'll see how that goes. But potentially should have no problems with that. I'm going to wait until the video card gets here. It's going to be an MSI GTX 1070, which right now, you know, all this mining going on, GPU prices are kind of out of control. But uh, otherwise, I'd have put a more capable or maybe even like a workstation graphics card in, in this system for, for video editing. But uh, I think the primary program we're going to use, or they're going to use for video editing, is Adobe Premiere. And I'm pretty sure that application has CUDA acceleration. So, so should work just fine with the 1070 and, of course, the 16-thread 8-core uh, 1700, or 17, yeah, 100 uh, Ryzen 7 CPU. So this should be an awesome build. If you guys want to see a review on this board, this motherboard, um, or anything of that nature at all, you know, with regard to this new build, I will do some benchmarks after it's all completed with that, uh, you know, MSI GTX 1070 and let you know how it performs. Obviously, with the video rendering, it's going to be its primary kind of uh, role in this, you know, in its, in, in its office, office environment. But outside of that, if there's any benchmarks you guys want to see, anything in particular that you want to see in terms of the build itself, put it in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and make this just a quick little intro video about this build. And I'm going to move on um, in a minute here. So you're going to see me in the same outfit doing the uh, next generation CPU video here in a second. So hope you guys are all doing well out there. And I will see you again soon. Peace out.